M0FXB, welcome to my videos on the ICOM ID52 and ICOM705. Do that is to upload my repeater list using my actual phone. Right, let's grab my phone. Let's turn on Bluetooth. We haven't done this for a while. Go menu, set, Bluetooth. And let's do pairing and connect. Yes, so I should have turned it on, shouldn't I? My on is here. Pairing reception, that's the one we want. Now we're grabbing our phone here. Now remember, we haven't done this for a while. We're just going to make sure we've got the correct app in. Now you swipe down, this is a Galaxy 8. There is, I, there is an iPhone, but we're using a Galaxy. So we'll turn on Bluetooth like so. And then we're going to, it's doing a search. So let's. Ah, there it is there, BT, I'll just show you that closer, and like on the search on the radio, it's only good, it's, we've got about a minute left to do it. Okay, so let's pair it. Right, saying, okay, and confirm here, so hopefully... We are paired. Next step. Now the app is called the RSMS1A and I'll put a, a link in. So we've got it here from the Play Store. Tap that and it, when it boots up it should ask us what radio we're using. And we're using 705 via Bluetooth. We could plug in the cable but we're going to use Bluetooth. Click OK. And then pair device list. Select it. There you go, and it's connecting. And once it connects, the Bluetooth logo will come on here on the uh, 705. There you go, Bluetooth list right here. Okay, and then everything on the radio. I know it's a bit dark in here, but everything on the radio is now displaying here. Let's just get it to my hotspot. You might be able to hear something. Just tap that and we'll do near repeater. DV. And it should find, yeah, there's my hotspot at home. Oh, there's no activity there. But we can. Anyway, you know, it might come through. So, you can see that they're paired. So, we want to do the pair the repeater list now. So, we'll hit these three lines here. And we'll go import. And it says here, repeater list. We'll hit that. It says download from the internet or load a file. Now I'm hoping that the one on the internet has got the FM analog repeaters. If not, it was worth a try. But we still learned how to do this. So download from the internet. And then it says, it gives you the website. Now downloading. Overwrite the current list or add. So let's add. Right, import complete. No new data. Oh, okay. Well, that's fine. At least we now know how to um, upload the repeater list using our Android phone. And then it doesn't add the analog ones. So, but you can have analog ones, of course. But that's not what this video is about. It's just about how to select a repeater, which is basically go into your repeater list and then select the one you like and use. 7-3, all the best.